Hello everyone, it's Ekamin here. Today I thought of doing something different until I finish my next theory and narrate the chronicles of Golden Isle Archipelago. So grab a coffee, sit back and relax while the story unfolds. This story happens about 150 years ago in a port in a faraway land. A bunch of people were boarding a ship to travel to a different land. A wide variety of people merchants, travelers, immigrants and more were hoping to see the other land. But unfortunately, a mysterious accident happened and while sailing, shipwrecked into a mysterious island. The strong tried to patch up the ship and sail back, but the thick fog led them back into the island again. So they decided to take residence on the island until help came. Ten years pass and a grandma speaks with her grandchild. Ten years ago today we were shipwrecked on this island. We've been stranded here ever since. Child, on this special day, Granny has a gift for you. It comes from Granny's hometown. Keep it safe. Don't lose it. And don't forget the nursery rhyme Granny taught you. <clears throat> Five mountains hide the little village. Now the grandchild is grown up and she talks to her daughter. I should give the family treasure to you just to be safe. Mommy's grandma said that it came from her hometown, far, far away. Mommy doesn't remember that place very well because she got on a boat and left her hometown when she was very little. But maybe this nursery rhyme can help keep the memory of our hometown alive. <clears throat> Two paths through the lonely forest. Time passes. The girl is now a grandmother. <sighs> How time flies. In the blink of an eye, I've grown old. Oh, hello, darling. Come to Grandma. Oh, goodness, someone's growing up fast, aren't they? You're not a small child anymore. Now, what do you think this might be? <laughs> it's a family heirloom. Grandma's ancestors brought it with them when they came here many years ago. Today, Grandma's giving it to you. Take it. And remember this nursery rhyme. One river flowing down the middle. The child is excited to have a gift from her grandmother. Hey, guess what? Grandma gave me a gift. Wanna see it? Here. Grandma says it comes from the world outside. She says our ancestors brought it to the island when they first came here. Oh, and she taught me a nursery rhyme, too. Um, I think it goes like this. Four winds bring the sound of joy. Few decades passed, and a fleet of runaway pirates shipwrecked into the island. The crew was scattered around the islands, and some are missing. Oh no, the ship! This is Akko Domeki's pride and joy! I can't believe it. Akka only just gave us the ship, and now we're suddenly stranded here on this island in the middle of nowhere, and all our treasure's gone. We had this coming. This is our punishment. Oh, we never should have stolen that stupid puppet. Why? Why did we... Shut it! We are going to fix Captain Akko's ship. You hear? No matter what it takes. Some survivors found the second half of the ship. Hey, I found it! The other half of the ship, it's here! <sighs> After everything we went through with the army, all our hard-won treasure is gone and so's the ship. When Chief Janome finds out, we'll be in for the scolding of a lifetime. This samurai puppet is all that's left. <laughs> and we're no more capable of getting out of here on our own strength than it is. Meanwhile, Another survivor is getting attacked by a Hilichral tribe and was taken captive. 
Haley Charles? What are they doing here? G get off me! Help! Help! No. Dong Dong is still waiting for me to come home. Oh, Dong Dong. Your father misses you. I hope you're finishing your meals and going to bed on time. Like a good boy. On the peaceful side of the islands, a village elder is teaching his younglings how to fish. We simply put the net here and wait. When the tide goes out, the fish will get caught in the net. Wow! Amazing! You like that, huh? <laughs> the ancestors have a lot more wisdom where that came from. Out of nowhere, a mysterious person saves the captive and destroys the entire Hilitral camp. Huh? Someone's here to rescue me? Oh my, thank you, you kind soul, thank you, thank you! Now that everyone has introduced themselves, the surviving pirates can't understand how these people lived here for generations and the villagers can't comprehend what the outside world is. What? You're saying you've been trapped on this island for... for generations? Trapped or not, this is the only life we know. We can't leave. Good God. So are we... stuck here now too? No, just listen to me. There's a huge world out there. Mondstadt? Liyue? Inazuma? Compared to the size of those places, these islands are just a few pebbles in a pond. L Liyue? What's that? Ah, oh, never mind. Forget it. Alright, that's it then. The rest of my life here, eating nuts and berries and waiting around to die. The ruins here are quite a sight to behold, but why are they upside down? I don't know. They were here before our ancestors arrived. We took a lot of the stone to the different islands to use as building materials. In these islands, the people live in fear of the tides. But on top of a cliff, a village elder catches a young man slacking on his job. Hey! Careful! You can't go napping here! You'll catch a cold! Go on, I'll take over. How is the sea? Anything to report? Hmm? Uh, I must have fallen asleep. Oh, uh, don't worry. No sign of the tide coming in so far. To be continued. What will await the villagers and the new resident pirates? Does impending doom awaits them, or will they escape this imprisonment of the islands? See you guys on the next part, and don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss the part 2 of the Chronicles of Golden Isle Archipelago.